What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Derek. I'm Kevin. And together we're last week's album. We're bringing you the only reviews with two different views. And this week we're talking about How to Be a Human Being by Glass Animals. And we're asking the big question, is Glass Animals, How to Be a Human Being, a man-made masterpiece? Cheers, Kevin, and everyone at home. Cheers, Derek, and everyone at home. Glass Animals is a quartet from Oxford. Their last album, they're also their debut, Zaba or Zaba. Uh, if you ever watch our review of that album, didn't know then, and we don't know now how to pronounce it, but that album was very well received. This is their follow up album. It's kind of a concept album, it follows a cast of characters that the band described as being developed or created uh, by talking with people as they toured across the United States and elsewhere for the last couple of years. Let's talk about what it sounds like. Kevin, what'd you think? Sure. I think How to Be a Human Being sounds like samples and stories from across the globe shape a trippy account of the human experience. Yeah, that, that it does. That it does. I think How to Be a Human Being sounds like Alt-J, MGMT, and Beck take a road trip across America while listening to Portugal the Man's Evil Friends way too frequently. Nice, nice. I struggled to compare these guys to anyone because their sound is so unique, but I definitely hear all those references. So let's talk about some highlights. Kevin, what'd you think? I think the variety of sounds is really interesting. They bring in a lot of sort of samples and hooks and loops from outside the sort of musical sphere. Sometimes they're from cartoons or video games or films. Yeah, I just puts together this really interesting sound that is definitely one of a kind. Not only were there a lot of different sounds, but I think they meshed together well. There's definitely a lot of layering, but they also knew when to kind of pare things down. They were able to create a range of loud and soft and stuff like that. And that also helped make it continue to be engaging throughout the album. That's sort of my second highlight here, actually, is that it's just such an interesting album. The combination of weird, cryptic lyrics the smorgasbord of sounds and everything sort of all put together makes a really captivating album that opens new wrinkles each time you listen to it. Same with their last album, Zaba or Zaba or Zaba, uh, whatever you want to call it. It stands the test of time and I think this one probably will as well just because it's so interesting and you find new things every time you listen to it. I really like the, the cast of characters here. And to even extend that to the album itself, the album cover features a number of different people. And what I gather is that are reflective of the different characters of the different songs. And so I think even the added challenge as a listener to go through and listen to these songs really kind of dive into them and then pick out which character th that is on the album cover is fantastic. Really interesting concept permeating itself to the album art itself. The overall concept is just really, really well thought out and really well executed. Um, to your point, Derek, there is a character on the album cover that represents each of the songs. These guys put together mood boards of each character, which may or may not have been just for the artwork. And also in interviews, they talk about how they put together soundscapes and they bring in these different interesting sounds and loops and sound effects to get in the head and the, the mood of the character. So it all comes through and it's executed really, really well. And I think the album title is just really funny because it seems more like how to not be a human being. Um, most of these are cautionary tales of some sort of costly mistakes that people have made or that they garnered from their uh, travels. It's just packaged really, really well, um, literally and figuratively. Kevin, I thought it may have been how to be a human being, but barely. <laughs> yeah, how to kind of be a human being. One lyric I really liked, he says, uh, mama always called that woman prostitutes. Yeah, some really interesting lyrics. And even just one-worders. McFuck? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, uh, is it okay to, to move into lowlights? Because my one lowlight is, is pre-made sandwiches or pre-made sandwiches in brackets. It was short, so it's not a huge deal. Um, they got through it quickly. It was interesting, but um, I, I wouldn't call it a song. That's my only small gripe. It kind of reminded me of the sped up language that's tagged on to like drug commercials on television. Hmm, interesting. But I was still asking myself like, what the McFuck was that? 
talking about the overall rating and asking the big question is glass animals how to be a human being a man-made masterpiece Kevin, what'd you think? I thought a lot of this album in a, in a really, really good way. Um, as we, I feel like we've kind of touched on all of it. It's just supremely executed from vision to execution and everything in between. And at the same time, it sounds so interesting. And I think it would sound even more interesting live. It's an interesting character study, an interesting approach to an album. And it's just put together flawlessly from start to finish. And I, despite my one low light, I would say it is a man-made masterpiece. So I'm going big and giving this one a five out of five. Kevin, I think we're going to agree for the most part here. You know, to answer the big question, is it a man-made masterpiece? I'm inclined to agree. I think reflective of humanity, this is all things good, bad, ugly, and in between. Sonically, they definitely go a lot of places. It does feel adventurous, but never out of control. They really dive into a lot of just unique stories, and they do a great job of taking the listener through those stories stories as well. Again, to good, bad, and ugly results. But in the end, it's definitely a worthwhile listen. So I'm agreeing with you and I'm going big as well, giving this one a five out of five as well. So with Kevin's, that's an overall 10 out of 10. So go check out How to Be a Human Being, if you're a human being or otherwise. Don't forget to tell us what you thought and don't forget to subscribe here on the YouTube or on the podcast. And as always, I'm Derek. And I'm Kevin. Cheers, everyone.